break frustration from a local business owner who says a long-term construction project is costing him dearly. INDOT says the purpose of the project is to improve safety and mobility of US-31 within Hamilton and Tipton counties, but it's making it harder for people to reach a well-known farm market. Our Kitty Wisely learned about the project and challenges. Yeah, good morning. The project upgrades US-31 to a limited access corridor. This means INDOT will eliminate some access points along the way and build interchanges and overpasses at some locations from State Road 38 up to State Road 931. One. All other local cross streets will be converted into cul-de-sacs. But Scott Wilson says majority of his business comes from traffic along 31. Without that, he says it's going to make it challenging for customers to find a different way to the store. The parking lot is packed. This is what a normal day looks like at Wilson Farm Market. Probably 35% local. The rest is, you know, coming off of 31 one way or the other. It's a third generation family business and been here at US 31 and 256th Street since 1968. Believe it or not, I found an old aerial photo, one of the original building photos when my grandparents had it. And it says like potatoes, 49 cents for 10 pounds. Without an exchange here, customers will have two options. Options. Exit two miles south on 236th Street or two miles north at 276th Street. That means traffic would have to come four or five miles from the country to get there. INDOT completed a corridor study in 2017 and reviewed safety data from 2014 to 2016. It indicated that in Hamilton and Tipton counties, 88% of crashes happened within 1,000 feet of an intersection. It's a big deal. Huge, massive gaps with no exchanges at all. Currently, INDOT is still in the process of completing an environmental assessment, so everything proposed is preliminary and could change. Right now, the plan shows 256th Street as a cul-de-sac, which would not provide the farm market direct access to US-31. But Hamilton County Commissioner Mark Hairbrandt says the county's comprehensive plan shows an access. I don't think that people realize there's not a lot of places to be able to go around there to get groceries. Farmers in the area could also be impacted. My brother farms directly across the road. A neighbor farms directly behind the market. But those two guys will have to drive seven miles to get to those property that's 100 yards apart. But there is a way to possibly get an exchange, and it's not uncommon for the county to go after federal funding. It will probably come down to, to some type of money uh, contribution. Scott Wilson will continue to fight for his business. But the reality is that sometimes the cheapest solution is not the correct solution. And isn't afraid to make it known. Now, the project has already started. Right now, the 236th Street interchange is scheduled to begin construction in 2021. The 276th Street interchange will start in 2022. The limited access conversion from State Road 38 up to 236th Street will start in 2023, and the division road grade separation will begin in 2025. All other work along the corridor does not have a start date, and that does say that US 31 will remain as is a four-lane divided highway. Highway. Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on.